All right, welcome back. Beginning beekeeping in Texas. It's amazing what a new bellows does. I was like, man, am I just like really bad at lighting a smoker? No. My bellows was, had these huge cracks here and this was completely open. So, got a new one, good to go. Don't replace your smoker, replace your bellows. And they're really bringing it in. So we're gonna check this little nuke. We're gonna do check, just real quick checks on all of them. Is that a giant turd? What is that? No, that's fire ants. Cool. I love having fire ants in the middle of my thing. Okay. So let's blow them a little smoke. I always like having at least one uh, metal lid because you can put your smoker on it and you're not going to melt through these plastic lids. I like the ultimate hive covers, but sometimes you just need a metal lid. So I'm starting with gloves. I'm going to see their temperament. If they're not too bad, I might try without and see, uh, see if they light me up or not. I always love leaving tools around. I always love that I forget that these are locked. You can probably open this upper. No, no, I can't because there's nothing there. Because I got a. This is basically a propolis trap on top of here that they've cut. This came with it, so it looks like half a propolis trap. And uh, they can't get through it. If you do a queen excluder, they can get through it. All right, let's get everybody off of there. They seem to be pretty gentle. We'll give them a little bit of smoke. So we'll try this. If I get lit up, that'll at least be funny, right? All right, so gloveless, you have to be even more careful not to crush anybody accidentally because that makes them angry. And you got to remember, you can't just reach into a hive and pull stuff out if there is anything there extremely careful with these frames because you pinch one you're going to get pinched back all right let's see what they got going on here so they are drawing this out very nicely i do see eggs a few eggs so the queen might actually be here. But who knows. Everybody's feeding everybody. They must be on a pretty good pollen store or nectar source because they're just flying out of this uh, out of this hive. I will say that gloveless afford you some uh, a lot less heat on your hands because you just sweat through these gloves man that's crazy and when you sweat through the gloves they can sting you anyway so all right I am very comfortable with these bees I would not do I would not suggest going gloveless if you don't know the temperament of the hive so as you saw I started gloved and I moved on to gloveless because even the nicest hives sometimes they will get in a mood and they will sting you and I am just dripping oh there's a waggle dance right there and they are following her top of the frame I 
Oh, she's done. Now she's going to share some nectar with them, the ones that were listening. Say, look, this is actually what I got. Okay. I thought I marked this queen, but I can't remember. She's definitely laying. If I didn't mark her, I probably will now. Especially if they're hiders. I'm going to try to keep this in your view. If they're hiders, uh, you want to mark them. She's still putting two, two eggs in one or two cells, but they're in the bottom and they're right in the middle. So she just started laying, I think last week, I saw a few eggs. Okay, I didn't see her on here, but these styrofoam nuke boxes, they're nice, but this one's a little bit warped. So in the middle, there's no space, and it's hard. Ugh. These girls are getting crushed by this extra comb here. Okay, get off. Your head's squished, girl, girl. Yeah, you're pretty much dead. But you don't even know it yet. See, this stuff. This stuff kills bees. Because you push the frames back together and they're just like, Oh, there's more room to go. No. Not really. Okay. So let's push it back together again and now there's more room in there so no one gets crushed I'm sure they'll fill it back in again because that's kind of what they do all right they're getting a little bit more pissy Let's remind them that I'm here and we're doing an inspection. Sometimes I've heard that the smoke, if you do it enough, they kind of equate that to, okay, there's no, there's not danger coming. It's just, oh, there's a queen cell with an egg in it. Where's my queen? Why would they do that? There's no problem here. Hmm. Right here, super seed your cell. She's laying like gangbusters, so I don't know what that is. There she is, right there. All right, well, I'm going to destroy that because they don't need to be feeding a queen in there. Because their queen's doing perfectly fine. And there it was right there. Okay. Normally I wouldn't do that, but this queen's doing perfectly fine. Maybe because she wasn't laying a lot before, but She's laying now. Hmm. If there's more of a problem, we'll find it later. But for right now, I'd say these ladies are doing good. Queen's in there somewhere. weird feeling their wings on my bare hands usually I can't feel that there she is right there pink spot yeah I remember I marked her last time ok 
Okay, so let's put these girls back together. I mean, that's, I don't understand because there is nothing to indicate that she's failing. I always think it's kind of funny when I do this and they just start running over to her. I don't know why they do that. So we'll check this one next week. See how they're doing. They're starting to roar a little bit, so we'll close them up. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.